Sidney Norman Bernstein was an American chess master, born July 13, 1911, in New York. In 1977, he published a collection of his games entitled Combat, My 50 Years at the Chessboard. He passed away in New York January 30th, 1992. We have D4, Knight F6, the Indian game. Knight F3, the knight's variation, G6, the East Indian defense. And the difference is where this pawn is. When the pawn's on C4, we have a King's Indian. When the pawn has not moved, we have an East Indian. Knight C3. D5 transposes. To Chigorin's variation of the Queen's Pawn opening. Chigorin, Mikhail Chigorin, being the top Russian player and one of the top players in the world in the late 1800s. In fact, Chigorin challenged Wilhelm Steinitz for the World Championship. I can't remember the year, I think it was 1896. He lost. Bishop f4, bishop g7, pawn e3, castles, bishop e2. Bishop e2 is the Barry attack, but nobody seems to remember why it's called the Barry attack. I looked up the word Barry in the Collins Dictionary which tells me that in Australian slang, Barry is a mistake or a blunder. But according to the Scottish National Dictionary, it is Scottish slang used to describe something that's very good. So I'm not sure whether this is a blunder or very good. There are both proponents and detractors of this move. Fisher answering with knight h5. The book move is pawn c5. And that is answered with knight e5. Knight c6. Castles. And the most common continuation is pawn takes pawn. Go back. Bobby Fisher with knight h5, hitting the bishop. Bishop g5, pawn h6, hitting the bishop again and pushing it back to h4. Bobby with pawn to g5, the bot calling for pawn to c5. My thought was that knight c6 might be the stronger move. And the annotator awards me with a check mark for that choice. g5 was Bobby's preference. And bishop g3. Now we see that the bot prefers. A very unnatural looking g4. White can still castle queenside in this setup. And the point is, if you really want to take that bishop, I'll take your knight, and I have a rook that can come to g1 in line with the black king. And I will castle queenside. Bishop g3 by Sidney Bernstein. Knight takes the bishop, and pawn takes the knight. And I will remind you of an important maxim of chess, and that's to capture toward the center with your pawns, not away from the center. In other words, don't capture with the F-man. Well, there's two reasons not to capture with the F-man, and there are exceptions. If you have a very, 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 very good reason, then that's fine. But normally, you want to capture toward the center 
Well, number one, when you capture away from the center here, you create a separate pawn island. But secondly, when you capture toward the center, not only do you keep a single pawn island, but you open this file for your rook. Now c5 was played by Bobby Fischer. And the bot calling for pawn to c6 instead. And I actually thought knight c6 should be playable here at this point as well. I liked it before. I still like it. And I get a star. Pawn to c5. Fisher's move. Queen to d3. And yeah, pawn takes pawn is sensible there. I mean, it does open this diagonal, so black doesn't mind it too much, but... Perhaps, you know, you'd have to deal with this super attack on the D-man, but you could play E6 here. I get a star for that. And then maybe you can clog the diagonal a little bit with Knight D4 if you're white. I get a thumbs up for that one. The bot calling for Queen D2, no doubt followed by Queenside Castles. Anyway, queen d3. Now pawn e6. And knight e5. Don't play pawn takes pawn at this juncture. On pawn takes pawn, black has knight a6. So knight e5, the correct move. Now f5 to prevent that knight from going back to g4, where it will super attack the h-man. Right? So pawn f5 prevents that from occurring. Um... I actually prefer, that gets a star, but I actually prefer to hit this queen before I do anything. It feels a touch stronger to me. I do get a star for that. And that just drives the queen away. Probably d2. And now I don't necessarily have to panic too much about this. I mean, knight c6 here. And if you go knight g4, then king h7 should be okay now that the queen's not on the on the b1 g h7 diagonal, right? I get a star. And the point is, if you play here, and that gets a star, I can come here and super defend since the queen's no longer here. And I get a star for that as well. Okay. So c4 is definitely a good line. But f5 also gets a star. g4. And the, the bot says queen back to d2. Here would have been a good place for white to queenside castle, though. I, I liked castling. Let's see what we get here. A star. So I'm doing pretty good on my alternate lines today. Anyway, g4, and now f4. And here I would play pawn takes pawn now. Um, pawn takes pawn is my move. I get a star. And he plays pawn takes pawn, then I bring out my knight. Star and... Exclam! All right. Let's go back. Bobby with F4. F4 gets a question mark. 
Now Queenside Castles, but ironically, now this Pawn Takes Pawn is available again. Pawn Takes Pawn should be available. You cannot take the knight. Let's be clear on that. If you take the knight, then that releases the rook to come in and infiltrate right here. And you could have some trouble. But you could just take this pawn. I get a star. You do not um, want to take the knight here. You want to take this pawn with the pawn, not with the queen. Because if you take with the queen, this is wrong. The queen takes is wrong. I've got d4, exclam there. So instead, take with the pawn. Double exclam! Ho, ho, ho! I like that. And then knight a6, no doubt. Star. Well, Bernstein played castles queenside. And now knight c6. And now Bernstein with a dubious rook sacrifice here. This cannot be right. There are a lot of ways to go, but this is not one of them. Queen g6 would be a better way to go about this. But he played the rook takes and gets a double question mark. The bot actually calling for bishop f3. What does it think about queen g6? I get a thumbs up there. Now the bot says take the knight. Well, there are a lot of moves that are fine for white, but rook takes pawn is not one of them. So bishop takes the rook. Now queen g6 check. A slight move order blunder. It could have been a move order blunder. I don't know if this has ever happened to you, but you're calculating your moves and you're telling yourself, I want to play here and get my queen here and then play here. And then inexplicably, you play this move first. I've done that before. It's a mental error that happens to chess players. Anyway, queen g6, bishop back to g7. Bishop d3, I see. He thinks he's warranted here because that's a checkmate threat. Threatening mate on the next turn. But, rook f6 and all's Jim Dandy. Just hit the queen. Bobby actually went with knight takes the knight. That gets an inaccuracy. So pawn takes the knight. And this is still a winning move, even though f7's not covered anymore. No, I take that back. Oh, yeah. No, that's that's correct. Yeah. You take, you play. I was just wondering, can I play this right away? I can't. Do not play this right away. Do not play this right away because the king escapes to f7. And even though you can give another check here, I've got king to e7. And my, my king runs away to safety. And all is well for black. Go back. So pawn takes knight first. And now that does still renew the threat of queen h7. So rook f7, exclam. Knight b5, coming here. King f8, 
Knight d6. Rook d7. Bot prefers c7. Bishop b5 hitting that rook. That gets a question mark. Yeah, bring your other attacker in. Sure. Get that down in here. Ah, uh, look at this beautiful move by Bobby. He's going to give back some material to simplify the position. This is this is really good chess right here. Your opponent has made a dubious sacrifice, and if you look, you've got bishop for bishop, rook for rook, queen for queen, bishop for knight. So you've got a rook in your pocket. So you give up that rook for a knight, and you still have a peace advantage. In fact, it's rook for... That pawn will not stay there long. I don't know if I'll take it right away. But Bobby plays rook takes knight. Very instructive. And now pawn takes... I would just grab it. Or maybe I'd hit this bishop first. Bobby went ahead and played bishop d7. He just wants to simplify. He's up a piece. Oh, yeah. Hit the... Yeah, That's that makes even more sense. Bernstein trade... The um, bishops, queen takes the pawn, pawn takes pawn here. A little bit risky opening the F file. One thing we want to be clear on is don't grab, it is now a blunder to take this. Let me point that out. Because after queen takes the pawn check, well, maybe not a blunder. Blunder's a bit harsh. Blunder's a bit harsh, but, I mean, black still has the advantage, doesn't he? Anyway, queen takes the pawn on g5, pawn takes the pawn on e3, queen of f4 is check, now king back to g8. And... You've got this pressure here to deal with. So pawn takes the pawn. But now rook f8 hits that queen. Okay, I see the point of rook um, d8 hitting that pawn. But, you know, he's got to move the queen. Queen g5. If he wants to hold on to that pawn, he had to move to g3. Queen takes the pawn, and black's advantage is really clear now. Rook h1, queen e5, queen h4. Okay, yeah, trade queens, it says, but, you know, you're down materials, so the bot would trade where we wouldn't. You know. Back, back. Queen h4, trying to maintain some sort of potential threat. You've got to keep some weapons on the board. So, queen takes the pawn with check. King d1, queen b1, check. King d2, queen b4, check. King back to d1, queen e4. And now d4 can be played to open more lines. Queen h5, rook f2, white resigned with no way to escape checkmate. Check and mate coming. No real way to, to stop it without giving up uh, material. I guess you could try to trade. No, that still gives up a rook. <laughs> it doesn't work. If you play queen h7, queen takes queen check, right? And now I've got a rook and a bishop. So, okay, you've delayed the inevitable, but you're lost. So there's really no good way to stop check and mate. There's All you can do is delay it.
with my rook here. We'll go into Hoover mode, you know, whatever, push upon, whatever. There's a hundred ways to win this. 